Jane Kelly is going to a primary school to learn about and talk about being eco-friendly. So what better way to get there than in his own electric car? Martin, please, may we have a lift? Of course, yeah. Jump in. Thank it's enough you. room. Thank you very much. You got it, yeah? Hi, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Just got an auto, is that it? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Top man, Mark. All the best. Cheers, Cheers pal. Thank Cheers. you. Wow. Could open a shop with them. What do you think of this car, then? How does it drive? Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, for years now, we've been speaking about little changes that we want to make to try and help our daughters, their daughters, our son's future. So we went to uh, went to on the uh, Tesla website and bought one. You charge it up and how long does it get to go for? Yeah, so because I'm just coming to training them back, I can plug it into the house electric. Um, so I just put it in the garage, put it on overnight, and that gets me to training them back. Really? So I drove a lot of cars and this is as comfortable as they come. Do you think kids are a lot more aware now of being environmentally friendly? Because I remember probably around the time we were at school, we learned about recycling and aluminium cans and stuff, but yeah. I feel like there wasn't anywhere near as much talk about it as there is now. Yeah, same. I think it was, it was similar in our household growing up. You know, my dad used to recycle his, his empty bottles and stuff. That was about it. No one would speak about it. But the kids now growing up, I think, understand that it's probably the, the, their future and, and their kids' future that is going to be affected if, if we don't make this change. Got here, carbon free, no petrol. Hey there, you all right? Nice to meet you. you okay? Yeah, definitely. Hello. 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 How are you doing? How are you all doing? What are you doing at home in order to be more eco-friendly? Yeah, we have our reusable cups when we have coffee or we have Tupperware boxes. Instead of using tons of cling film, we try and keep plastic bottles to a, a minimum. Um, every Thursday, once we've dropped our daughter off at nursery, we, we go across the road and get um, fruit and veg from the farmer's market across the road. So over at Sellers, I think little little things again, like the um, plastic cutlery isn't getting used any anymore. It's all, it's all wooden. New chefs come into to both places because people are now getting on board with plant-based diets and stuff, which is much better for, for the environment. Thank you. See you later. Your eco-warriors and school council are going to take you around and show you some of what we're doing to actually try and become more eco. I think the first thing I want to show you is the chicken. If that's yeah, right. that's great, yeah. Okay. Amazing. This is brilliant. The four chickens, and we named them Hey Hey, um, Peppermint, Snowy, and um, Hedgeo. They'll lay the eggs, and then Mr. Ricketts, he will take them and he'll normally sell them to people. So it's a bit like a cycle, so we don't really have to spend any money for them. Okay. So, well. so no eggs today. This is just oh, in the summer. Eggs are in. None today. Typical. Every day we check and I'd say you could get five eggs, but mostly we've had, I think it was 12. What's 12, the most yeah. 12 in one week? Yeah. No, one, in one day. In one day? Yes, wow. I think that's the most we've got in one yeah. day. We're in the best possible yeah, care with you guys, aren't they? They're looking great. You hold your hand out flat. Wait, where's it going? Like this? No, they don't. Oh, oh there's. Oh. There you go, we're forgotten. I'll just put something in there. Wow. Okay, yeah. They do pet cards. That's amazing. There you go. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, oh. Which one this one is? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah what's his name? Let's see. You're bigger, aren't you? He's fair with a bit spiky, so it looked like he had It's a change from holding a baby for the past week. As you can see, we have quite a few, but right now they're not really great. And you get you get these, and these are goes in your school dinner, or are we selling these yeah, as well as the eggs? Them. Right, okay. I think it's over here, it's supposed to be strawberries. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've just got a planter like this uh, in, in our house, in our back garden. So we've planted um, strawberries, garlic. I think red onions and a few garden, herbs, yeah. Yeah, living off the planet now. Yeah, yeah we've, we've just started literally for Christmas. My mum asked what I wanted for Christmas and I wanted a ton yeah. of a ton of veg because she does it all. So, yeah. yeah. We have a pond. We're trying to make it into like a wildlife area and we're going to have like some like maybe goats and we're going to rebuild the pond. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a um, summer job. Yeah. Yes, pretty much. Now it's yeah. just it very... Be really doing the groundwork. Yeah. It's not going to be one person that changes our uh, future, but if, if one person can speak to one person and word of mouth can get, get the word out there that we need to, to make our, our little changes and, and to look at our carbon footprint, how much we are using, I think we can, we can go in the right direction and, and hopefully have the future that, that we all dream of having, which is, is a, an amazing world that we have so much opportunities to, to have, have here. And, we want it want it to remain that way. Eagles! Wonderful.